hello everyone you're welcome or you're welcome back to my channel so my fridge is the messiest it has ever been you guys look at how my fridge is looking oh my god it's so embarrassing and so that is what we'll be doing on the video today we will be cleaning decluttering and we'll be having a little christian girl chit chat so you're welcome to this video please consider liking subscribing and let's get into the cleaning thank you and stay tuned yeah so like i was saying let's get right into the cleaning and the decluttering and the chit chat so this is going to be a heart to heart talk from me to you and um, i'm going to be talking to you based on my personal experience with the holy spirit if you have been following me or watching some of my videos you would know that i am a lover of the holy spirit i'm sure every christian is a lover of the holy spirit but i am just i don't know i just have a little bit of extra and um when it comes to him teaching me generally nothing is always a waste no matter the circumstance no matter how small it might seem to be it is never a waste when it comes to the holy spirit there is always something that he is trying to pass there's always a message that he's trying to pass in every experience or in every de dealings of our lives as christians so going straight into it the bible verse that i'm going to be talking about is a bible verse that is quite common most if not all of us know about it and it's proverbs chapter number three verse five and it's talking about trusting the lord so in this phase of my life the holy spirit is teaching me to trust in him completely to rely on him completely because i for one um, naturally, I'm someone who likes to plan. I like to make sure that I have everything worked out. I like to see um, how things are going, like foresee the future of things and just make sure that things are fine. I like to be deep independent. And so in this phase right now where I am a mother, I also see that with my child. I see the way she needs me to give her water, to give her food, to clean her up to take her diaper out to give her a bath you know children are just so dependent on us as parents and so in this one year plus of me being a mother um, I have got to learn a lot of things when it comes to my relationship with the Holy Spirit like I was saying I like to make sure that everything is in order and for some time I have been feeling as though I have not been in the position of, um, should I say authority or I have not been owning up to things. I feel like I have not been owning up to the things that I need to own up to being a mother. I feel like I'm not on top of the situation like I need to, uh, like I used to. And I am getting not, I'm not dependent or independent anymore, if you understand what I mean. And so in the, in the time when I feel like that, I tend to worry. I tend to have this anxiety. And um, one of the ways in which the Holy Spirit is working through me and with me is allowing me to trust him. Like just to trust him that everything will be okay. And this just goes to say, um, you know, the Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter number three, it's talking about different seasons and different times. The Bible says there is a time to have a plant and there is a time to harvest. There is a time to um, leave and there is a time to die there is a time to work there is a time to rest and everything is in seasons that is how um god does things that is how orderly god is and sometimes you might be in a season that you feel like you are not you are not owning up to it you don't have the hang of it you are not in control of it and you might want things to be in a certain way but the holy spirit is asking you to trust him you know our brains are like little are peanut sizes they are 
in, they are just so minute and they are not even compared to the wealth of wisdom that the holy spirit has and um yeah so knowing him as the one who knows everything the bible says he's omni giant so he knows everything he's like this man that has all the he has the puzzles fixed the puzzles of your life he has every part and he knows what your tomorrow is going to look like he knows what your next week is going to look like he knows what your next year is going to look like yeah so we don't know what the next minute holds for us we as humans who cannot say oh tomorrow i'm going to be this tomorrow i'm going to be that what we can do is just to allow the grace and the wisdom of the holy spirit navigate our lives and to trust that he has our best interest at heart so that is something that i am currently going through that is one of the aspects of my relationship with the holy spirit that he's currently teaching me and currently molding me in because like i was saying i would want things to be in my own way and they are never the best you agree with me that we don't know it all we don't even know sometimes we want to do things based on the little experience that we have but what do we know compared to the maker of heaven and earth the one who sees the end from the beginning right so yeah trust in the lord with all of your heart and when it says with all of your heart the bible is very particular god does not mean words god would not say a word that he really does not mean and so when it says trust trust means to rely and you can only trust in the lord when you know his ability when you know his power when you know his strength when you know his integrity when you know what he has done when you know that he is a covenant keeping god and you are aware of the promises that he makes and the promises that he keeps then you would begin to see that oh if he said this and he did this and if he said this to this person and he did it according to the bible then what is it that he's going to say and not do for me because he is a god who is who has this integrity the bible says that his word is flawless so yes guys i want to encourage you i want to encourage all of us as i am speaking i'm also saying to myself that no matter the phase in your life that you are going through you might not have that job that you have right now like i was saying there are seasons sometimes you walk and sometimes you rest sometimes for example i am a mother right now before being a mother i was independent i could do what i wanted to do i could go out and come back whenever i wanted to i i did not have a child to look after but right now i see that things are different this is a new season of my life and I the, the focus has to shift. The focus is no longer on me alone, but on nurturing this wonderful gift that God has placed in our care. Yeah, and also different little experiences that I cannot even begin to go into detail right now in my life that is forcing me in court to be able to trust in the Lord with all of my heart. With all of your heart does not mean that you would give him 90 and still think oh maybe i should do this then no you're going to trust him with all of your heart knowing that he knows everything he knows better knowing that he trusts that yet his thoughts towards us, towards us are thoughts of good and not of evil knowing that he's going to take us to that expected end and no matter the situation that you are in no matter the difficulty that you are facing, no matter the level in your life, no matter the circumstance, the challenge, know that God is still with you. He is going through it with you and in his hands, nothing is actually a waste. You might think that it is taking too long. You might think that help should have come by now. You might think that you are actually suffering but God is walking out his gifts through you. He might be walking out patience through you. He might be walking out forgiveness through you. He might be walking out faith through 
you so it is very important that in every dealings or experiences in our lives we stop to think of the grand scheme of the holy spirit what is it that the holy spirit is teaching us what is it that god wants me to learn from this situation and yeah that is how i am taking my life these days that is how i learn to deal with the different seasons and just to ask the question holy spirit my this seem very hard this seem very hard but i know that you are trying to bring out a virtue you're trying to bring out a spiritual gift in me and we try to grow and we try to evolve as christians and we try to develop as christians you guys i said this was going to be a chit chat but it is like a monologue right yeah it's like a monologue it's just like i'm pouring out my heart to you i am just explaining or just talking about how far the lord has brought me the holy spirit has brought me and it's my honest honest desire that it helps someone out there that my experiences with the holy spirit actually encourages someone not to think that you are alone not to think that you are in that circumstance and the holy spirit is not with you trust me he is with you and though it might be hard there is something that he wants to bring out yeah though it might be hard at the end there is milk that is going to be flowing out at the end there is going to be virtue that is going to be flowing out from that circumstance from that situation if you do not give up if you look at the grand scheme of things yeah guys so i hope this was able to bless you i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you enjoyed watching me clean my dirty dirty fridge and um, like i said just please share with me your comments what is it that the holy spirit is really walking through you what is it that you are learning in this season at what season are you in your life and what is the taking out of that situation what are you learning from that experience just share with me in the comment section i'll be more than willing to learn from you too that way we can edify and encourage one another one another again please don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment and please consider subscribing if you haven't yet thank you and i'll see you on our on our next one god bless you bye